This video is titled, How an Erection Works According to Happy Theory. The penis is basically a sack of skin with some cartilage in it. Because this is a public video, it is not possible to show sexually explicit pictures like an actual picture of a penis. Scientists claim that an erection is the result of the penis filling up with blood. Scientists claim that the pressure of the blood that fills the penis expands the limp penis into the larger erect state and also makes the penis hard and rigid enough to withstand the strong forces of sex with the female vagina. The scientific description of an erection is similar to the description of a water balloon. A water balloon is a sack of rubber that when filled with water also becomes hard and rigid. Does any viewer of this video who is sexually active believe that a water balloon could withstand the forces of sex with the female vagina? Anyone who has ever handled a water balloon knows that a water balloon is fragile and will burst at the slightest provocation. There is no way that something like a water balloon could be squeezed in between the strong muscles of the female vagina, then move vigorously back and forth between those strong muscles as the penis is during sex without bursting open. This video is going to explain how an erection works according to happy theory. The explanation will begin with some necessary background information. Happy Theory contains a large number of theoretical models of the human body that replace the complex human body with some less complex object or objects in order to simplify the explanation of some aspect of the human body. The double cylinder view of the human body is one of those theoretical models. According to the double cylinder view of the human body, the human body can be treated as two large cylinders located as shown in this picture. The two cylinders are made transparent in this picture, so the relationship between the cylinders and the human body can be more clearly seen. This picture shows a profile view of the human body and the two cylinders, and this picture shows an overhead angled view of the double cylinder view of the human body. The spiral view of the human body is another one of the theoretical models of the human body created for happy theory. According to the spiral view of the human body, the construction of the entire human body can be described in terms of spirals. That would mean both cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body must be constructed from spirals. This picture shows the overhead view of the double cylinder view of the human body. Spirals are drawn on each cylinder to show one way that each cylinder could be constructed from a spiral. Another theoretical model of the human body created for happy theory is the triple cylinder view of the human body. The triple cylinder view of the human body is an extension of the double cylinder view of the human body. This picture shows the directly overhead view of the double cylinder view of the human body. If the diameter of each cylinder is increased by some amount, the two cylinders will overlap each other to create a third cylindrical shape as highlighted in this picture. The three cylinders in this picture comprise the triple cylinder view of the human body. The third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body does not have to be the exact size and shape shown in this picture, nor does it have to be in the exact location shown in this picture. Now that the necessary background material has been covered, the explanation for how an erection works according to happy theory can proceed. The penis has a generally cylindrical shape. The penis is located in front of and in the middle of the male human body. According to happy theory, the penis can be treated as the third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body. This picture shows an overhead view of the red cylinder placed approximately where the penis is located in relation to the two cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body. It was previously stated that according to the spiral view of the human body, everything in the human body is constructed from spirals, which would mean that the third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body, which is being equated to the penis, must also be constructed from spirals. Because the construction of the cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body were demonstrated as looking something like this, it would be reasonable to expect the third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body to be constructed in a similar way as demonstrated in this picture. This picture, though, showed that the third cylinder is created by combining the two cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body, which implies the construction of the third cylinder must be related to the construction of the two cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body. The construction of the third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body 
is related to the construction of both cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body, according to Happy Theory. Demonstrating how the construction of the three cylinders are interrelated, we'll begin with this picture of all three cylinders. Then spirals highlighting the spiral construction of the two larger cylinders are superimposed on those cylinders. According to Happy Theory, the third cylinder of the triple cylinder view of the human body is constructed from each of the spirals of the two cylinders of the double cylinder view of the human body. This picture shows the spiral of the right cylinder extended out into the third cylinder where it spirals within the third cylinder. This picture shows the spiral of the left cylinder extended out into the third cylinder where it also spirals within the third cylinder. These two pictures demonstrate how the penis is constructed according to Happy Theory, but that is all they demonstrate. The explanation for how an erection works according to Happy Theory still needs to be presented. According to Happy Theory, in a human body that is not sexually stimulated, there is some balanced state between the three cylinders of the triple cylinder view of the human body. That balanced state consists of the two large cylinders representing the body, containing all of the force or strength of the body, while the third cylinder representing the penis contains none of the force or strength in the body. The appearance of an unsexually stimulated male human body supports that description of the distribution of forces or strength in an unsexually stimulated male human body. An unsexually stimulated male human body will look strong and upright, as it should if the cylinders representing the body are full of all of the force and strength of the body. The penis of an unsexually stimulated male human being will look weak and limp, as it should if the third cylinder representing the penis contains none of the force or strength of the body. According to Happy Theory, sexual stimulation will change the normal balanced state of the three cylinders of the triple cylinder view of the human body. According to Happy Theory, in a sexually stimulated male human body, the force and strength of the body that was held within the two cylinders representing the body will flow through the connecting spirals shown in this picture into the third cylinder representing the penis. The appearance of a sexually stimulated male human body supports that description of the distribution of the force or strength in a sexually stimulated male human body. The body of a sexually stimulated male human being will usually be smaller than it normally is. The body will be folded up or bent over in some way that makes it look smaller than it usually is, as it should be if the force and strength in the double cylinders that held the body upright has flowed into the penis. The penis of a sexually stimulated male human being will look strong and upright, as it should if all of the force and strength in the body has flowed into it and filled it up. The life experience of any viewer who is sexually active should corroborate the concept of force or strength flowing from the body and into the penis when they are sexually stimulated. When the body of the viewer is sexually stimulated, don't your arms, your legs, and your head feel weak? Maybe your head drops towards your chest during sex because it feels heavy, or you have to get on your elbows and knees because your legs and arms are too weak to support you during sex. That is because the force and strength that was holding your body up is now holding your penis up. According to Happy Theory, it is the strength given to the penis by the presence within it of the force and strength of the entire body that makes the penis able to withstand the forces of sex with the strong muscles of the female vagina.